Hey y'all, so today is closing day. This is a really exciting day and we are super excited. We are headed to the title company to do as they say and sign our life away <laughs> or better known as just signing our papers and you know getting everything situated so that we can do the fun part which is get our keys so um we just finished eating we're gonna head over there get that together um it's what i expect about an hour signing so we're going to head over there and we'll be back later once we have the keys okay all right peace for now shoes off for a second but here we have our first floor room um we could have opted to make this into a bedroom but we decided to go without the closets and that way it wouldn't be counted as a bedroom and we're going to use this room as an office um we really want to have this nice entertainment systems over here with built-in shelving our TV is going to be mounted, so we had the plugs put up high. And this corner is where we're going to actually have the desk and the computer whole set up. Um, a nice futon we want in the back that can also, you know, convert from a couch into a bed so that if people do stay over, um, they can use this room. I love this view. This is one of two of my favorite views in the house. The window is huge and um, it brings in a lot of natural light. So I really like that. Okay, let's keep going. As we come out, just look down at the floors. We did decide to upgrade our flooring to a tile um, and we chose kind of like a light gray. Um, and we also chose a gray grout because we wanted it to be really flush and kind of smooth and clean and clear. And these floors are just amazing. They're very smooth and soft. 
soft to the touch. This area over here, our floor plan reads as a flex room, but we're going to use it as a formal dining room. Um, another nice big one though, our builder, um, this is something that they do, and one of the things that made us fall in love with this building company is because they have such nice size windows, which let in a lot of natural light. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice rectangular, Dining room table, um, throw up some artwork on the wall, abstract paintings. You'll see all of that in the furnished house tour. On this side of the wall, we want to have a nice fish tank. We've already scoped out the one that we want. Um, that's going to be over here against this wall. Okay, keep going. Through here is your storage area. It's nice. Um, it goes all the way down and around that corner. And as you see that this is really good for storing, it's lighting all the way in throughout. This is good for storing, you know, your Christmas decorations, coats, luggage, things like that. Very deep storage, I really like that. Okay. So, I'll move this way as we get ready to walk into our great room area. Now, this doubles as our great room on this side, and then our kitchen to the other side, which we'll get to in a second, but we're going to start over here in our great room. This is where we envision a nice sectional. We're not really sure if we wanted to go around this way and leave this side open, or if we wanted to go this way and leave this side open. But nevertheless, we've already purchased a nice charcoal gray um sectional that we think will play good because of the light gray flooring we want it to bring in some color so we're going to get a darker couch this entire wall is going to be an accent wall um and we would really like for it to also match that charcoal couch so stay tuned for that upgrade as you can see here we opted to have our um power plugs sockets moved up high because we are going to have our TV mounted. Then down below is where you will have your cat files so you can have the hard wire to your internet and your other power socket. And then here is where our hookup is going to be for our speakers. And that is one of the another upgrade that we decided to do. Um, our builder offered two levels of speakers. We went with the level two, the highest level they had. And we just thought that was a really cool feature. We love music. We love entertaining. So, you know, it'd be pretty cool when we have guests come over and just have a little music playing. Or I'm sure, like you, when you are cleaning and you like to have music playing, you know, we like to do that. So, okay. So, this area that's right here in front of me, between the great room and the kitchen is the dining room. Now that's what the floor plan reads as, but we're not gonna make this our formal dining setting. We have a high top table that's on the way. That's gonna go here. Um, nice six seater high top table with an adjustable table where you can make it smaller or larger depending on how much space you have. So that's really cool. Um, let's go over. Before we go into the kitchen, let's hit our little mudroom area. So, here's our mudroom area. It came with two built-in shelves. Um, this whole area over here, for the most part, is going to be our dog's area. So, we'll probably have our dog storage, his bowl, and toys over here. Put some of his treats up here, maybe put a picture of him on the wall. On the other side, we'll have a key rack with our keys just for quick entry because we'll probably use the garage most times. So this is where our keys will go and then we'll probably put a separate key rack at the front of the house for when guests are over. Okay, through this door is our two car garage. And as you can see, my JC is already here. And we just have one other car to come in and then my husband's work vehicle will be out on the driveway. All right, let's go back into the kitchen where I'm probably going to spend a little bit more time because this is where we put most of our money. And you'll find 
find when you're going through your new home build. Kitchens and bathrooms are where you have more options than anywhere else. Not to say you don't have options other places, but the kitchen and the bathroom, they're gonna offer you a lot of options. We'll start with our countertops. These are granite countertops. Our builder offered us three different types of included countertops. This is one of them. This is called Dallas White. And get a little close up and you can see the dark purple within it. And we really wanted to play on that color and bring it out. So that's where we went with our faucet. It is an urban bronze to bring out that dark in the countertops. We have hardware to match that's coming. Unfortunately, it was not shipped in time or delivered in time. I'm not sure what the holdup was, but we don't have it. We went with a double sink. We had the option to do a farmhouse sink. I'm not really crazy about the farmhouse sink. And the reason why I wanted this divider is because I'm a little lazy and sometimes I wash dishes and want them to dry and I don't put them right up. Okay, so here we have our backsplash in the back. And it's really crazy because when you're going through design, you don't really know what it's going to look like. So in the design studio, the sample they had, I thought this was gonna be much more white. Well, it has kind of a beige um, hint to it. And I like that because the countertop looked more white in the design studio, but it's not white. And so I was really happy about that because our counter, our cabinets, excuse me, are pure white. This was an upgrade. Um, and the reason why you know it's an upgrade because it's large, it's flush and flat. The space in between is a lot slimmer. So that's part of the upgrade. So much cabinet space, if you look around. Like, I honestly don't even really know what we're gonna do with all this cabinet space. Um, the cabinet's all at the bottom. And we're gonna get hardware on all of this, and it's gonna be that urban bronze color to match this. We have our dishwasher there that was included. Um, the other upgrade we did with our kitchen. This whirlpool? Oh yeah, all of our appliances are whirlpool. Thanks, babe. Um, you'll see that whirlpool here, whirlpool down the bottom. Another upgrade we did was in our kitchen with our setup here. We decided not to go with the traditional stove backing, and we didn't do the gourmet kitchen because, I mean, we're just not gourmet chefs. It wasn't that big of a deal for us. What we really wanted was a flat top, able to see our backsplash, and a nice microwave above. So this was an upgrade, and I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, this was actually pretty cool, and we actually discovered this on one of our pop-ins when we shouldn't have probably been here, but we have the pull-out trash compartment, and I thought that was so cool because sometimes when you're cooking and cleaning and you want to just quickly throw away some things, it's right by the stove, quick access. Love that. And it's hidden, so, you know, it's nice. Here is just a huge countertop. Cannot wait to have a little centerpiece decorate with our bar stools and place settings more storage spacing, like I told you. And these are actual, not big drawers, real drawers. So, yeah, so much space. Not really sure what we're gonna do with it all. A uh, third or fourth upgrade, not really sure which one we're on right now, but we decided to go with a frosted pantry door. Um, there were another option where it could be glass, see-through, or just a plain door. But um, I really like the frosted one. I have a decal that's coming to go on it that says Bon Appetit. That's gonna be so cute. So, if you look inside of the pantry, it's pretty large, spacious. It has the wire shelving. Let me get the light. It has wire shelving. One of these days, I hope to take out wire shelving and put in wood shelving, but that's not a necessity right now. That's something that can come over time. I do plan on doing the entire Pinterest pantry, so stay tuned for that upgrade. I'm really excited about that. Over here, as you move, we have a refrigerator. This was an included, but it was still an upgrade. So all of our appliances came with the house. 
you just had a choice of upgrading them to different types. So our upgrade for our refrigerator came with a built-in refrigerator, so you can't see the whole body of the refrigerator. And usually you have a lot of space up here. Sometimes people store cereal, paper plates, different products up here, but we have no space up here to store. We didn't want that. We really like that clean, flush, built-in look. Um, we have the two door. We have one side for our fridge, another side for our freezer. It's nice, a lot of space. I want to organize our fridge as well, but again, that's not as much of a necessity as the pantry is to be. Shelving at the top, storage, which I'll probably never use because I can't reach it. All right. Then, this is my husband's little fun area. Um, this was all his idea, and I absolutely loved it. He upgraded the cabinets over here to see through with the glass so that all of his alcohol and liquor could be up here. So this is going to be our little bar area, our little wet bar. Um, we have a nice centerpiece to go up here. And then at the bottom, we have our wine cooler, which I am so excited about. I'm not going to be so much of a hard alcohol drinker, but I love some wine. So we think that came out really nice and flush and sweet. And oh, a cute little upgrade over here. We have the HDMI, not HDMI, USB. USB. Yeah, USB ports there. So that's pretty cool. I think maybe eventually we might want to put a little light over here or something. That would be a nice upgrade. Okay. Let's look up at the ceiling before we leave the kitchen. One of, we have lots of upgrades. Again, like I say, when you go to your design and pick out and everything, recess lighting is an upgrade. However, we did not have to upgrade this. These were all included. All of the circular recessed lighting that you see in our ceiling came with the house. And that is major because if I'm not mistaken, like it's like a five hundred dollars a light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like five hundred dollars a light. So to get six of them just automatic and you'll notice it's throughout the house in different places. So there was no reason to upgrade to them. Alright, did I forget any other upgrades or anything? I don't think so. Oh, oh let's look up at our cabinets. This is angled crown molding around our cabinets. That is also an upgrade. If we hadn't done that, it would have just been flat at the top, but we decided to fancy it up a little bit and put the crown molding at the top, and I love the way that came out. Absolutely love it. Still have the same gray tile flooring throughout downstairs with the exception of the first room I showed you. So, let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. I have the option to take the carpet off the stairs, even though we inquired about it, but we, since we couldn't, we decided to go with a gray that could flow from the downstairs floors to the upstairs floor. And we upgraded our carpet just a little because, you know, carpet can get worn out pretty easily. We have a nice window light up here so we can let in some natural light during the day. Absolutely love that. So let me go ahead and come upstairs. And as you come up, I want you to look down at the floors. And I have such a fun story <laughs> with all kinds of sarcasm on the word fun story about our floors. While we absolutely love these floors, these are not the floors we picked out. We picked out a darker laminate, but some miscommunication or laziness, I don't know, on our builder's behalf, and our floors were discontinued. Guess when we found out? The week we closed. And it was crazy, you know, we didn't even know if we were gonna have floors in time by our closing day. Guess when our floors arrived? this morning the day of closing so i am a firm believer that what is meant for me is for me so it was meant for us since our floors were discontinued the builder offered us an upgrade to luxury vinyl we had different options to look at this is what we chose and i love it so i mean hey i guess we ended up on top anyway I like how the floor has a little bit of a gray tint to flow from downstairs, and then it also has kind of a creamy color 
and you'll see why I like that so much for upstairs. All right, as we go down this little walkway, we'll come into our loft. And my husband and I are huge gamers, huge movie people. This loft is going to be a full theater room slash game room. We are going to have our TV mounted here as well. We have a nice TV stand that we've had for a few years now, but it's still in good condition. It's nice, so we're going to put that over there. All around you here, you're going to see all types of movie posters, theater room decor. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get us a nice sectional. We found a, love, a one that we love in rooms to go. Can't wait to get that. Over here is where we're going to have kind of our little snack bar slash concession stand area. I already bought some floating wall shelves to go here. I saw a decal on Amazon that I can't wait to order that said snack bar. I actually saw some that said concession. So this is going to be a really fun room, probably my favorite room in the house. And I just, I can't wait to entertain and to just relax here, you know? Okay. We'll come back to that one. Let's go down the hallway. So as you can see, we have a little bit of a hallway here. First door is our linen closet. I wish we had one in our owner's suite bathroom, but unfortunately we don't. But we have lots of shelving and storage space here. I would love to take those wire shelvings out eventually and put wood. This is the room just for our AC. First guest room to the right. Um, it's pretty spacious. That was another thing that we loved about our builder. Not only did they have large windows, but their rooms are huge. I must say that. Um, we got the skylight windows up here. Well, not skylight, but upper windows up here. I can't reach them. So it's not like we're going to do too much here. We'll probably put some little shades up at the top you know but it's going to give it good sunlight then we have another window over here on the side so yeah this is going to be our guest room we already ordered furniture and we'll be putting that up this weekend probably got a closet over here it's not walk-in but it is a nice spacious closet in there no lights unfortunately okay so when we come out we have a bathroom to our right. You will notice a second countertop. We decided not to go with the same countertops throughout our whole house because we wanted a different feel as you walk into different parts of the home. We didn't want it to get boring either. So here we have another granite countertop. I don't remember the name of this one, but this was another of the included countertops. If you look on it, you'll see hints of like golden, kind of like a light tan. <clears throat> excuse me that's why we picked these cabinets to go with it these were not an upgraded cabinet and remember i showed you you can tell when it's upgraded the closer together the cabinets are more flush of a look this one isn't this was a part of the included package so we just went with it and matched the countertop perfectly i do want to change out this hardware eventually because i don't really like the chrome but we have time for that we have a nice full mirror that takes up the entire wall, love that. And we did not upgrade the countertop to put a second sink because we just didn't think it was necessary. So that's okay. However, we did come over here to our shower. We upgraded our shower to have the tile flow all the way to the ceiling. I just thought that was a cleaner look than having it cut off right above the shower head. I just didn't really like that. Eventually, I'm sure we'll probably change out these different appliance things in here, but for now, it'll do. Our flooring that we went with in here is like um, peanut butter, not really peanut butter, like a biscuit color tile. Mm -hmm. And we also did a biscuit color grout so that it could have a clear flush look in here. Included. And this is, it was all included, yes. So when we went to the design studio, we had included things that just come with the home options so we had about three different types of included flooring we could choose from if we didn't want to upgrade it this was one of them and this is what i was telling you when i was saying why you like or understand why i like that gray and cream colored vinyl flooring out there because it flows into this tan colored floor 
As you come over, we have a nice little window here with a toilet. I like that little storage area in the side on the side behind that little wall because you can store extra tissue or towels or different things that your guests might need when here. It came with a towel rack behind here. I do want to change that towel rack out because I just don't feel like it matches with the bathroom with it being chrome. But other than that, it's cool. Okay, so through this door is to our second guest bedroom. It's kind of a Jack and Jill bathroom, but not at the same time because the rooms aren't necessarily connected by that bathroom, but they're two entryways to the bathroom. We hope to use this room as a nursery. So honestly, until then, I'm probably not going to put anything in here because I don't want to have to take it out. So this is going to be our nursery. My favorite window in the house. Remember I told you the office was one of my favorites. This is my favorite window in the entire house. It is humongous. You know, it's it's amazing. I really love this. You can't see because it's nighttime now, but there's an amazing view out there. The window's great. It's going to offer a lot of natural light. And I just think it'll be so cute, you know, when we have a baby and I can sit in a rocking chair next to the window, you know, natural light. I just think that's so cute. <laughs> Over here, we have another closet. I think this closet is a little bit bigger than the other guest room closet. And due to the fact that this room has direct access to the bathroom, once our child is no longer an infant and everything, we'll probably move the child over into the other room and allow this to be the guest room because it has a direct door entry into the bathroom. We just think that's pretty convenient and you want your guests to be comfortable. The carpet that we went with in both guest rooms uh, is nothing special. Um, we did not go with the lowest level carpet at all because we have a dog. And so we just wanted it to be good and easy to clean up. So, but it does flow. The, the color scheme still, go, still works. Okay, let's head back out of here. And down our hallway. We're going to come into our laundry room. We did not upgrade anything in here. We had the option to get their washer dryer. However, we didn't get it because we didn't want white. But we do have a washer dryer that'll be here in the morning. So my vision for the laundry room, washer dryer, I wanna take this out, eventually put a nice wooden shelf here. We want a countertop here. And then under the countertop, no cabinets because we have three laundry baskets for white, lights, and darks so that we want to go there. I have all kinds of organizational things for our laundry room, and it's just gonna be really nice in here. Same flooring for the bathroom flows here into the laundry room. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let him show you this really quickly, and then we're gonna go into the owner's suite room. All right, so as you come over here to the owner suite, I love the way the entrance to the owner suite looks. These two French doors are amazing. Right outside of the owner suite, we kind of had this fun space right here that I felt like needed to have something. So my vision for this area is to have just a little bench with maybe some little pillows under it. I don't know, maybe storage up under it where we can store little things that can also, we can use in the loft. Right behind my husband, across from our entrance to our bedroom, huge empty wall, I envision a huge body mirror right there, you know, so that you can check your outfit as you're on your way out the door. Okay, let's come into the owner suite. All right, we did upgrade our flooring, our carpet in here to one of the highest level carpets. It's really close knitted, tightly knitted. It's easier to vacuum and clean up. It is a light, creamier color than the other bedroom that you'll see. Um, we decided to go with carpet in all bedrooms because it's a little warmer, cozier, you know, and we just didn't want that harder floor in our bedroom. We have two windows on either side. Then we have this nice open space here. We'll probably put up some abstract art. We don't know honestly what we wanna do, but we do like artwork. So that's what we have in mind for this wall. Maybe eventually somewhere down the road, we'll see if we can knock this wall out and build a balcony with some French doors out to it. But until then, 
that's our wall. This huge wall here, I have plans of another accent wall to go here, and I am so excited. I really want to do a marble accent wall, and I'll talk about why in a minute. As you'll look up, you'll see we have more included recessed lighting, and I think it's really cool because it's not a part of the whole light room. So lights off, and then light comes on. I think that area is just going to really pop. We'll have our TV over here, nice TV stand slash dresser, and our bed will go against that huge wall where I want to put the accent wall. Okay? That's about the only thing we, we didn't really upgrade anything in our bedroom other than the carpet. Um, there wasn't a lot of options to upgrade. So, yeah. Here's our second place where we did a lot of upgrades. Remember I told you, bathrooms and kitchens. This is the owner's suite restroom. And you'll notice right away that we don't have a tub. Listen, that is one of my biggest regrets. When you are going through your home buying process, get your number one items, get your must haves. Don't talk yourself out of it. Please don't because you will regret it. I regret not getting that tub. But nevertheless, let's come over here. Third included countertop. Um, I don't remember the name of this one, but remember I told you we have three different options. We, we chose each included countertop. We liked each one of them. It wasn't even so much of a settle because we liked it. So we went with this one and you'll have the his and her sinks. Um, the chrome actually works for me in here. Um, I don't know if my husband may want to change it out later, but for me it works because we went with more of a black, gray, and white theme in here. The countertops here were an upgrade, but fun story about those, just like our floor, our original countertops we picked out were discontinued after we'd already selected them. So the company offered us an upgrade in our cabinets. Well, these were actually our number one pick, but we decided not to go with them, ended up being able to get them anyway. Look at how flush and clean they are. They're flat, nice um, storage space up under there. And we have storage space here. We have a drawer, you know, so I think we're pretty good. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff in our bathroom, so it works. Another upgrade we did in here is our flooring. This bathroom, I just, I love. I love this tile. It's a dark charcoal gray. We went with the charcoal gray grout as well because, again, we wanted it to be clean and flush. Our floors flow right into our shower. Where is the light for the shower? Shower. Hmm? So, oh, it is on, my bad. <laughs> it flows right into our shower and up our wall and all the way to the ceiling. That was another upgrade in our bathroom that we love. Fun story about the shower. As you may see, it is frameless. We did not choose that. <laughs> we actually did choose the frame because we didn't think it was necessary to pay for the frameless, but our builder, I guess, forgot, didn't notice, and gave us frameless anyway. So, you know, another happy mistake. <laughs> All right, um, we came with a towel rack. Time to put some decorative towels on there. Then over here is our toilet room. Um, I do wanna do another accent wall right behind the toilet and just have filling shelves with extra storage on it. I think that'll be pretty cool. If we keep walking, you will have our owner suite closet. It is a very large walk-in closet. You can look all the way around it. You can see by the way my arms are. This is huge. I love it. We have major plans for this closet. We want built-in all along that rack. We want this entire wall to be rack, I mean, shelving for shoes. We want this entire wall to be shelving for shoes. It's gonna be awesome, okay? The flooring in here, nothing special, same carpet that's in our guest bedroom. All right, so that is our empty house tour. There's one thing outside, actually, I do wanna show you guys. We do have one more thing to show you. Okay, so the last upgrade I wanted to show you that we went with is our covered lanai area. And forgive us for it being nighttime, but we have the option to do a full lanai, but then it would take away from our backyard, which we'll show you on another video. But 
We did go with the partially covered lanai and our builder painted the ground out there so that looks nice and we have patio furniture coming this weekend so it's gonna look really nice and we eventually want to add a pool back there. So I hope you enjoyed our home. We certainly love it. Um, you know, I don't know where you're gonna go, but you gotta get up out of here. So, peace for now.